and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo in the Path of Champions. We do have three brand new Path of Champions champions with Kennen, Ari, and Teemo. And so I wanted to play one of those new champions for y'all uh, over on YouTube. And of course, everybody here uh, in Twitch chat. And uh, the card that was voted on out of the three was Teemo to play. Uh, people said they were tired of seeing Kennen because <laughs> I guess lots of Kennens running around. Um, I think Kennen and Ari are more difficult uh, champions than Teemo in this mode, just from looking at the, the deck list, really, and kind of see, you know, think about how they would act. But anyway, Teemo should be a lot of fun, though, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play some Teemo, because um, I've always enjoyed playing Teemo decks ever since uh, Legends of Runeterra came out. Teemo is always one of the most fun champions to play. Puff caps are pretty fun, because you can get some crazy puff cap numbers and things like that. So that's what we're going to do. So here's our opening deck. Um, you know, that you can see over on the left hand side. Obviously, Teemo is going to be our most important card, but we got some other Puff Cap cards with Puff Cap Pup and Puff Cap Peddler, and then also Chump Wump making some more Puff Caps for us. It looks like a pretty good deck. The Furious Fae Folk isn't so good, but besides that, um, good stuff like Conchologist, Lecturing Yordle are two of the, the best cards in Bandle City, so you get two really powerful cards there. And then some decent interaction with some fumes and distress defense. So we'll go and start our adventure. Of course, whenever we're just starting out, we don't have anything uh, over here yet. But we got Lulu as the first of our six adventures. Okay, so we'll see what our first power is. See how lucky we are. Start of the game, summon a sparring student. That doesn't sound so bad. Cards you draw cost one less this round. That also doesn't sound so bad. So, of course, no rerolls um, at the beginning. I like both of those more than the Fury. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the cards you draw cost one less this round. That could actually be pretty nice. I right, to play some, some stuff for cheaper. Okay, we fixed up our loadout. Let's go. All right, Faithful gone. Um, I think we probably just keep everything else. So the round one, the attack token with the team O. Another day in the field. Swiftly. Not for everyone. The thing about like the labs here, like. They don't start with very many cards in their deck, and so the puff caps are. Um, they're even. Like, more. Uh, impactful, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. They're more impactful because they don't have as many cards. I might as well play that Teemo as it costs zero mana. I guess I can play that for three mana. My friend and I don't collect it. Yeah, see like <laughs> each card's got a lot of puff caps. Alright, now we can just go ahead and play this. Get excited and finish it out. GG's, first opponent done, still at 30 life. Victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. Uh, let's go ahead and do Funsmith. I think Funsmith should make all those puff caps do more damage, I believe. Let's choose Funsmith. Okay, let's go to our reward. Who we got for reinforcements? Braum is pretty cool. We go Ash for like Brittle Steel. I'll go Braum. I'm just gonna go Braum because I want to go to go with Santa Braum. That's a healer. Oh yeah, we can't cut cards from the healer right now. I guess we just go this way. We need to use Santa Braum. We haven't used Santa Braum yet, so that's why I took Braum. Mm. 
Yeah, I should probably just send the peddler back just to, to start with. No Teemo! Yeah, Scrap Heap and Trinket Trade are both pretty cool. Let's go with the Scrap Heap. Let's take a peek at life beneath the wave. Persistence is key. I don't really need, like, some of these cards. Like, I don't need a Mighty Poro, for example. Peddler. Two mana Peddler. Ooh. They grow up so fast. Run away, bite! This Mecha Forcer looks really cool with Braum, right? So support, give them plus two, plus two, and spell shield. So you can make the Braum, you know, a two eight with spell shield. That sounds super cool. Let's go, Santa Braum. Oh, we get we get a little. Mighty pour over the Santa hat. Oh, that's awesome. Oh no, it's stunning my Braum. No. But only masks secure me tail. Start to die. He's done. Yeah, you know, that annoying droplet that can block. Your attack is obvious. I'm missing them. Act natural. I got you. All right, another peddler. Cause yeah, they they only have twelve cards, so all these puff caps. And always stunning. Should maybe be enough puff caps to finish him out, at least pretty soon it will. I feel bad for my poor Braum. Oh, five. Close. I have come for the unforgiving. Rude. Drug damage. No. Astounding curiosity. Little berry shake. Yes. Of course, just casting that for more puff caps. Because I can't imagine that they are going to not draw a buff cap next round. They have 10 cards and 36 puff caps. So, how many puff caps do you get? Three. <laughs> yeah, I like this meta more than the other Ionia meta. <laughs> That's true. Well, I, I guess we're playing Defective Swap Bot, which Defective Swap Bot can be pretty cool with uh, Teemo, right? Like Teemo's a 1-1 one, one, and then you can use your Swap Bot to swap with the Teemo and now your Teemo's a 4-3. Send him back, look for Teemo. There we go. Prepared for anything. 
Don't kill him. All right. Let's go with the troll chance. Well, no. Concurrent timelines. Concurrent timelines sounds pretty fun. Let's go with that. It's all about having fun whenever you're playing labs like this. All about having fun. I don't think. Ooh, hoo, 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 never mind. We got this fun smith. Um, I don't think that Teemo will be like the best for speed running. As uh, if y'all like watch the channel, so you know that I, I like to speed run these labs because the animation for drawing the puff caps is pretty slow. Um, unfortunately, they didn't draw a puff cap right there for me to <laughs> show it off. But all right, so here we go. We're gonna swap bot our Teemo. And now the team was a 4 3. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I guess I'm taking a lot of damage from all that stuff, but it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Alright, so I think the puff caps will do 2 damage with that. Yeah, so they drew 2. Oh, that could have been them actually just drawing 1, but it's showing 2. That happens sometimes. Um. Get to do anything too cool here. Can fly, this is serious, so now I don't have the mana for elixir vine, which was my original plan. All right, never mind. So that only did one. Yeah, that only did one. All right, so never mind. Funsmith does not deal with. It already had. Okay, so it does not deal with puff caps. No, my Teemo. Why y'all gotta be like this? And we're still fine. We're gonna have concurrent timelines. We'll get some cool three drop. We don't get any of the summon abilities. These are all like summon abilities. We're gonna take the lifesteal unit. All right, we'll play the Fae Folk. We'll get Fury and Scout, absolutely. So now it still gets the impact four. Because <laughs> you get the summon ability of the thing that you're playing. So that's pretty good. I'm not afraid. And like I said, we're still just fine. Um... Are you talking about just like playing like ranked and stuff? That's what we we've already played. We've played three ducks in ranked today. We're now doing some uh, like a little bit of a bonus stream here with um, I don't know. Let's take another scout. I don't know if that will make that do more damage. We're doing a little bit of a bonus stream here with the Path of Champions with Timo. So I wonder if this does five instead of four. Now looks like it just did the regular four. All right, GGs, let's move on. Double tap. You have Overwhelm, first card you discard. Or damage the enemy Nexus. Wait, all we have to do is damage the enemy Nexus, then this thing gets plus two, plus one. So it's a two mana, three, three, three. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, I guess I'd take you. Or we'll take double tap. These are not very good cards, <laughs> you know. Like these are not these are ones I would considering re-rolling to begin with. But I guess we'll just take the two mana three three. Make a friend. Two copies of a tough, tasty Fae folk. 
Eh, we'll just add, add on to our health. All right, going on to the card shop. Reroll token. What else we got? Yodel Grifter start a free attack. Aloof Travelers are two fives. This can give Flash Bomb Traps for a three mana three four giving Flash Bomb Traps. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. But it's not bad. I'm just gonna leave. We have a good amount of just kind of generic three drops. They're just kind of do something. So we don't really need more. Because remember, the more cards, the buying cards for your deck is not always a good thing, as you see. Like, sure, you can get like some pretty good cards, but remember, your most powerful cards are like your champions um, and things like that. And the more cards you buy, the more you water down your deck, and the less likely it is that you draw your champions. So always remember that. Man, I want to keep lecturing Yordle because lecturing Yordle is so good, but we also have Braum already at the four mana spot. Probably shouldn't keep two four mana cards. Okay, we found another one anyway. Okay, Braum will match up a little bit better against Poppy now that Poppy's only a 3 3. Maybe that's why they nerfed Poppy, was to make this level, this specific level, easier for people. Oh, right, you only do 2 damage. Well, that was kind of a waste. Good thing I have millions of life. And my life's going to reset after this level anyway. Should have led with the Peddler. If I led with the Peddler, we gave them three more Puff Caps. But I didn't want to lead with Peddler and then they played an elusive, like the 1 2 elusive Yordle. get scary. Nah, we got Braum. We got Braum, we got Tebow. No, see, that's what I was worried about. Them playing um, something like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we... Let's do this five. All right, so that's six pop caps for Teemo. I guess we just have Braum challenge. That I was planning on leveling up Braum right here, right? Challenging like a five drop, and we level up Braum. But I guess we just double their puff caps. That's probably a good idea. What's their power doing? Oh no, their power's doing something ridiculous. Alright, let's start there. Go there. Maybe there. That thing's getting pretty big. Another six puff caps. Oh no! I should have attacked. Should it have just attacked?
We're not gonna actually die, right? Hopefully not. So they're at six. Draw six puff caps. They drew two. Okay, we got our six blockers. So we're at 15. We're taking two, four, six, eight, nine, plus four. We're taking 13 damage. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. All right, take 13 down to two. Hopefully no rallies and no two direct damage. Only one puff cap. Alright, so they gotta draw one puff cap this next round. Go and give him another 10. They gotta draw one. 16 cards, 72 puff caps. They gotta draw one. Wow. It would have been the unluckiest thing ever, right? If they just don't draw a puff cap. Santa Braum is awesome. Santa Braum's the best. Okay, not even close. Starlet Seer, Yordle Explorer. Both of those cards are really good. Uh, I don't think we really need Memories Cloak. I like both of these cards. I'm going to choose the Starlet Seer. Starlet Seer is a lot cooler than Yordle Explorer. Round Start Rally. I'll take that. Gold Chest or Healer. We don't really need a Healer. They're going to create a bunch of darkness. Rude. Whew. Okay, maybe that one was actually a little close. <laughs> maybe it was a little close. Alright, get rid of you, you, and you. Alright, round one, Teemo. And then round two puff cap up. Starlet Seer with Kennen. Um, you do make, like the good part is you do make a lot of zero mana spells, right? So you can get a lot of buffs with Starlet Seer. But if you recall anything that's buffed, all the buffs go away, so you won't be able to recall as much, or, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, I was keeping stress defense for protection. <laughs> Any idea who can into crime against humanity? <laughs> That's a little extreme. Lightning Rush. So you Conchologist, make a Lightning Rush, Lightning Rush, recall the Conchologist, do two damage to something. And you just go infinite, right? Conchologist makes another Lightning Rush. So I can just recall and do two damage. We'll fix them uppers. Alright, they got 58 puff caps for their 13 cards. Let's 
make that 140? 120, 120. I'd probably draw a puff cap, or 10. <laughs> 15. Why would we just do that to start with? Ooh, Starlet Seer has a free attack, or Braum has Overwhelm. Those are tough. Uh, Braum with Overwhelm doesn't matter that much, but we just get the extra copy of Braum. That's the cool thing. I guess we go Starlet Seer with a free attack. Now we need to give Starlet Seer Scout. We have free attack with Scout, and then get normal attack again. Okay, what do you do? When I'm summoned, refill your mana? I like that. I will purchase that. Thank you. I will also purchase a reroll token, and we don't really need those other two. You are the epic chest, and I got a lot of gold left. We'll go ahead and use a reroll. Why? How do you use a reroll and then that same thing shows up? That's not fair. All right, one mana stress defense. That's fine. I'm summoned. I oh man. These are all pretty good. I guess I'm going with Summon Capture. Alright. Spell Chest, Item Chest. Let's go towards the Item Chest. The problem with this one, though, is they have the little 1-1 elusives. I guess I probably should have gone the other way since we're a Teemo deck. So they wouldn't have all the little 1-1 elusives in the way. Alright, Braum, I'm going to send you back just because you cost a little bit of mana. The strongest enemy, right? Yeah. But our our Puff Cat Pup can capture their Mirror Mage. If you want something done right, let me do it. Well, this will refill my mana, but... I want to do this before they attack. Right, now we can attack. Because we have the attack token. Alright. Free, fix them uppers. Capture. Do lots of damage. Uh, I'll just let it die. I just I don't want these puff cat pups to die, obviously, right? So like we'll just wait till we can save those. So going this route, so it stays at 2 health, like normal. And should be game. Alright. Alright, moving on to Lulu. Moving on to final boss. Final boss, Lulu. Teemo v. Lulu. Ooh. I'm not, I don't, you know, like, I just don't care about this card. It costs too much mana, but both of these, right? The Starlet's here. It starts the free attack. Um, and what's the other thing it does? Oh, it also has spell shield, so 3-4 with that, but obviously cost reduction is amazing. I'm gonna go with the cost reduction, and the poison darts just go so well with all of our cards. Oh man, I don't have... Oh, I don't have the money to buy any of these. I shouldn't have bought that last thing. Like, this would, would be great, this would be the great... Oh, I don't have, I don't have the gold. 
I guess. Might as well just like purchase and reroll and just see what happens. Okay, minus one cost again. So we'll just have stress defense just be free. So we got free defense. Heal our two. Santa Brom and Timo. First, Lulu. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Hey, we can play the pup. Didn't capture anything, but that's alright. Definitely like playing it right there while we can. Oh, it goes away. Poor pup. Three attack. Now it's a th now it's a three three. All right, and so now it's going to silence the three three, which is good. The three three is the thing I want to be silenced anyway. Um, I guess, like, taking, you know, taking something with, like, this Puff Cat Pup and then having it be silenced and then die would be pretty good. Man, this is kind of bad. I can't really do anything. No, not the Peddler. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Alright, this Starless here should definitely die in combat. Whoa, they didn't kill it. Oh, wait, this thing keeps going... The first time you just... Oh, because it came back and so it still had that clause? Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, so blocking doesn't seem very good against... Support, support, support. So we're gonna be attacking instead. This still doesn't seem very good for me. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen. We take it all. No blocks make any sense. All right, we got plus four, plus four on the top unit. Hopefully it's a Braum. Conchologist. All right, we'll take that. One mana, six, six. Some fumes. What wondrous discoveries yes. await below. I really like casting these whimsies. Cleared up a bunch of stuff. That's gonna make life a little easier. Get rid of the elusive. And we'll block one. Take five, go down to eight. At eight, we're still alive. We've grown something else. A swap bot. Huh. 
So I can swap bot and swap with... I don't know, the Starless here? Make that thing really big? I better just play this thing. Impact 4. Look at that. Found me. All right, so they just wasted a whole bunch of cards for nothing. So that's good. We gotta be able to beat a Lulu and a bunch of Wombons. Hopefully we can. I'm sorry, Starlet Seer, you've done your job though, but I really can't take that. Right, big puff cat puff. Yeah, so now that's gonna get the puff cat puff getting whimsied. And lethal, that will do. So we didn't have any champions that game. No Brahms, no Teemos, and we still ended up being victorious. Was very close though. Really was close. Um You know, like these are these are kinda these are pretty tough, like when you don't have your all the way fully powered up champions yet. They can they can be some nail biters, and that's kinda what we had there. Alright, so the Faith Sorceress defeated. <laughs> that's my feature guard. That's pretty funny. Um, Alright, so now we can kind of get some reputation points for the Teemo, rank up the Teemo. Now Teemo gets that plus one, plus one. That's definitely pretty big, right? So now you'll, Teemo will be a 2-2. Get a little bit of extra gold so you can afford some stuff. And there we go. That's what we'll be able to have for the Gangplank Adventure. Alright, but those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the Path of Champions content, and this is going to be, uh, you know, we'll go through with Teemo. You know, like we did, uh, so far we've gone through with two champions, gone through with Jace and Pike. And if you're interested in seeing those videos, definitely check my Path of Champions uh, playlist out. I have a playlist for all of the videos. And then also we've done some speed running. did some speed running with Caitlyn, um, did some speed running with Pike as well. Uh, so if you're interested in that, because that's a lot of fun, um, check that out. We did like the full campaign of all six as fast as we could. All right, but that's going to be it for uh, this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.